Hi, my wonderful Cancers. I hope all is well. We're going to see what is going on in your energy, okay? Let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit has for you, Cancer, today. All right. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, what's going on with Cancer? What's going on with my Cancers? What's going on with my Cancer, Spirit? Let's see. Some of you are letting your imagination run away with you, I'm getting. Because um, I'm getting it's just my imagination once again. Something about some something about your imagination running away with you. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. We have psychic ability. We have December. Psychic ability. Trust your intuition. And we have Dog. Far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. So let's see what exactly is going on here. So we have December, psychic eye, and a dog far away thinking of you. All right. <clears throat> why is December here? Tell me, why is this here? Why are these things here? Why is this here? We have the seven of cups. This is about choices, right? Choices. And we have the Novice of Cups here. And we have the Seven of Cups again. That's crazy. <laughs> we got two Seven of Cups. I have two decks mixed together, just so you guys know. I kind of mix, mix two decks together, so that's why you get the Seven of Cups again. So this is interesting. All right, let me look at this. Okay, Cancer. Let me go ahead and start off by saying this. I don't think I said this in the beginning of the reading. This reading may resonate with you. It may not because I'm getting a very specific kind of situation here. So um, if this does not sound like your situation, this may not be the reading for you. But what I'm getting, Cancer, is there is someone um, that was possibly born in December that is thinking of you, okay? And I feel like your intuition is telling you that this person has been thinking of you. Um, this person may have even like popped up in your mind lately. If this person isn't born in December, it's something that happened between you and this person in December, like something significant that happened between you and this person in six, in December. Okay. Um, spirit is talking about how this person is like planning some type of action towards you. Um, because I feel like this person misses you. Um, this person misses you. Um, I even, I'm even getting the message that this person may have something that belongs to you, that they keep, they may sleep on it, they hold some, they hold, <laughs> when I say they hold, for some reason they like take it out and they hold it. That's why I want to say that um, they hold, because you're some of you are probably like, why did she say they hold? But uh, that's what I'm getting. I feel like this person, um, this is interesting. This person may actually be in the medical field or was in the medical field for some of you. For some of you, that's not it, but I'm getting like a medical field vibe. Um, I'm also getting that this person like, it's like they either, they want to, it's like they trap between wanting to be like in the medical field, a professional field, or being some type of entertainer, all right? Um, like they're always trying, they daydream a lot. And that's probably why I was getting, it's just my, your imagination. Um, this person daydreams a whole lot. And I feel like they daydream um, of you as well, Cancer. But they do a lot of like day, daydreaming. Okay. Let's see more of what's going on with this person. Okay. And why spirit is bringing them up to you. Okay. Trust your intuition. Okay. This is coming up again. Trust your intuition about this person. Uh, trust your intuition. We have the Seven of Cups again and the Nine of Wands. I'm going to clarify this at the bottom of the deck. And the Six of Wands right here. You're going to hear, you're going to hear from this person because I was just talking about how they're planning some type of action towards you because I was really drawn to 
um, in the last Seven of Cups card, it's not, um, I put it back, the wand. It's like, and the wand represents actions, right? So this person is, is planning some type of uh, action towards you, like um, approaching you, reaching out to you. So what I want to say, this person is planning on reaching out to you. With the Knife of Wands, which is typically the Knight of Wands, correct? Actually, I had to look at this card again. In this deck, I think it's the Book of Shadows, this is actually the Page of Wands, okay? So I want to get it right, the Page of Wands. This person wants to let you know cancer that they they support you that they want to be on your team that they that they support you in some way because this person does a lot of daydreaming about you like a lot and they're very curious um they're cu very curious about you very curious about you um of what you've been up to i'm also getting the message right here as i'm looking at this woman like this person has actually been um I feel like they've been watching you in some way. I don't know. You have, most of us, most of us have social media. They're watching like you go through some type of metamorphosis where you're changing, and they're very, very interested in that. And they're 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 really like thinking of how they're going to come and um, approach you again, or come back in your life. For some reason, I'm getting a I'm getting a plane ahead, so they may try to take a trip. Sorry, it's getting louder. Let it pass. They may be planning on taking a trip out to see you or something like that as well. Hopefully it's not a, <laughs> uh, it's not a stalker thing because we don't want people just showing up, you know, but I'm getting something like that. And I'm really getting cancer that this person is either in the medical field, but they want to be like a entertainer or something like that. Um, I'm getting that. Or maybe they're an entertainer and they want to be in the medical field. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really picking that up. All right. Let's see. Let me pull one right one thing. Another card on this situation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the universe here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. They feel like you're there. They feel like you are their Ten of Cups. Okay. They feel like you are their Ten of Cups. But it's interesting because I feel like there is like a bit of an obstacle here with the fire right here. They're trying to put out some type of fire, um, some type of problem that they're having in their life. They're trying to put out some type of fire first, or maybe there was some type of fire between you. Now, when I say fire on my channel, um, for me, it, re it represents like trouble because I get dreams of fire when there's trouble. And depending on where the fire is will tell me where um, the trouble is going to be. I've always had that. Okay. So. It's like they're trying to put out some type of fire that may have happened between you guys, um, some type of problem, or maybe it's a problem in their life. They're trying to, to put it out because they see you as their Ten of Cups. And for some of you, this person likes your butt. I don't know why I'm getting this, but they think you have a nice butt or something like that. Um, I know that's weird, but I'm getting that, okay? Let me see. Yeah, it's crazy because look at this. Look at my deck right here. The way I kind of put the cards together, it's closed. They want to close something. I feel like you're cl you're going to be closed to this person. The way this card's right here, the way I kind of did that. I don't normally do that. Um, you may be closed to this person. Cancer, you may be closed to this person. You may be like, you know what? No. Okay? For some of you, you're like, no. Let me see. Tell me more about this situation. How the situation is going to end up. How the situation going to end up between Cancer and this person? Where's the energy heading? Yeah, okay. We have the Two of Pentacles here. I'm getting glow up. Um, Cancer, you're going to continue to glow up. Glow up. Blow up. Yeah. Okay. 
Cancer, be careful with this person, okay? Be careful with this person. I'm saying this because this person, um, I feel like this person has some financial issues, okay? Um, this person has some financial issues and they're watching you from afar and they see that you were doing well or they see that you're about to blow up and do very well, okay? So they're trying to get in where they fit in. That's what I'm getting with this person, all right? This person is trying to get in where they fit in. Um, I'm really drawn to this woman right here. They want to be by your side while you're sitting there with um, this victory. With this victory that you're about to get or that you are um, achieving right now at this moment, okay? That's what they want to do. But I feel like you're not going to fall for that because um, I'm also getting that Jamie Foxx song, Fall for Your Type. Um, you may have fall, fell for that type, but you're not going to fall for that type anymore. And like I said, I don't know if this is romantic. For some of you, this is romantic. For some of you, this is just um, maybe um, a close relationship that you had, like with a friend. Also, for some of you, this pace, you may not even know this person, okay? This person, you may not even actually know, I'm telling you. Um, but this person has been watching you. Um, and maybe they've been watching you since December. Um, each situation is very different, okay? Because it is linked back to December or they're just, are they're born in December. There's something very significant about December here. Um, but I would be really careful, um, and use discernment when someone is reaching out to you. Um, if you get someone that's reaching out to you, um, hitting you up in your DMs, um, basically gassing you up, please use discernment, especially people that are coming from the past right here because I see you're on to something. Um, you're about to be elevated cancer and this person that's trying to come into your life is struggling and I feel like they're going to be struggling financially for a long time. Um, I just feel like they, they are. Um, this person may have been struggling for a long time, but I feel like they may be struggling even more um, for a long time and I feel like their intentions are not really the purest okay i feel like they need help um i'm getting the word leverage they need some type of leverage here all right that's what i'm getting for your message <laughs> you're reading for today so if anybody like hits you up um curious about you you know okay um like i said don't be paranoid this is for entertainment purposes only um but in general we should all use discernment you know not be gullible really trust your intuition when people from the past are coming back in all right cancer all right that is your message today i love you all